Hello everybody, welcome to the second semi-final of the Blood Bowl Super League Season 5. We've got Diomed with his Cyan Necromantic with only one werewolf. Up against Seabros with his pink slash purple, I don't know what, what is this, lilac, I don't know, dark elves. And in the booth with me is two legends. We have um, Eliod, you know, world famous for being one of the best Blood Bowl coaches of all time. Two major wins, uh, qualified for the... Uh, Super Cup, Champions League, whatever the fuck it's called. Uh, Chalice, every every race, absolutely brilliant. And uh, Hancock, hello. Oh. World famous for being a twat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good at it too. I feel bad now, I'm sorry. <laughs> That's too much, too much. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's funny, these two are normally together, chained together. Hey, hey. Let's get that done tomorrow, done and dusted tomorrow. Yeah. Oh, Glorious. Yeah, it should be interesting. I'm, I'm really not a fan of Diamond's build, but he was doing it, you know, trying to train for tournaments where Necromantic are appropriately tiered. <laughs> he thought they How were does Diamond play this. tabletop then? I oh, guess he's he only does, got yeah. one wolf that yeah. absolutely Yeah. Music. Yeah. Not what I would have done. Not what I would have done, wow. But he's in the semi-final, though, apparently. He is, he's yeah, he really did better good. than me. <laughs> he did, he's very good at Blood Bowl, yep, he is. Yeah. He is. He nice. has unfortunately declined to partake in the next season of, of Super Wow, League. really? Mm-hmm. Why? Um, Don't blame him. Terrible establishment. Get <laughs> 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 um, he just said he just said that uh, he just didn't fancy it or whatever. He wanted a break, like, because it was really short notice and yeah, it was really intense probably, playing yeah. it one after the other. And he said... Uh, I would recommend yeah. getting Bright or World Sitar to replace me, though. And I said, oh, yeah, that's a good idea. So I invited Bright, who, who of course, beat him in the final of Chalice uh, just just recently. So we've got Bright to replace him as far as uh, a top Russian coach goes. So that's nice, isn't it? <clears throat> I remember yeah, Bright yeah. as um, Skaven Spammer. Mm. Played a lot of variety. Yeah, 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 played yeah. a lot of Skaven, I remember. Yeah, so, probably, yeah. probably. Uh, but fucking Dimmy G in chat just brings up an interesting point, which is why the fuck is Dimmy G in Super League? Glorious. <laughs> Wait, Dimmy's in? Yes, Dimmy yes. Dimmy's it's just Benson and family at this point. It's I not actually Super League at all. What absolutely wasted space. <laughs> right? Unbelievable. Wow, well, um, thank you very much, Jordan. Stay fantastic for 20 and a half fever pregnancies. <laughs> Absolutely glorious. And uh, look, Dimmy's good at Blood Bowl. He went 11 3 1 with knobs in a uh, black box trophy. That's you? all you ever bring up. <laughs> Every time you talk about Dimmy at Blood Bowl, all you bring up is 11 3 1 with knobs. That's one run. <laughs> he won OCC 5 eh? <laughs> Okay, fine. <laughs> <laughs> he won Quiz Pit. <laughs> <laughs> he, he he won fucking TST as well, which was a top tier tournament. Mm. Mm. He won it by not winning a single game, right? <laughs> yeah, he won it by like being that, on yeah. the right team. Yeah, <laughs> so, so so did I. <laughs> oh, <dear. laughs> wow, well done! Uh, look, look, Timmy, Timmy beat me, didn't he? End of an era, so that's that's earned him a place. I think that's quite fair. Oh. Oh, so people who beat you get ranked highly now, do they? <laughs> <laughs> Flawed system. <laughs> yep. <laughs> it's my old. He's my eldest boyfriend. Is Timmy? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! What a line that is. But what's this reference? Um, there was somebody playing tabletop with Dimmy, and he was uh -huh. like, he went. This guy went to like you know a doubles tournament or something, and he went with his eldest, as in his eldest daughter, his eldest daughter's boyfriend. But instead of saying he's my oh. eldest boyfriend, he just said he's oh, my I eldest see. boyfriend. He's, he's, <laughs> what, he's the oldest of many. Yeah, yeah. He's the <laughs> eldest Abby. of my many boyfriends. It's a valid lifestyle choice. <laughs> yeah, fair play to the people who uh, who do that. But uh, yeah, it's yeah. still rather. Fun. It just sounds funny, doesn't it? It definitely sounds funny. He's my eldest boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. It's funny because he would have. He would have presumably would have been quite young as well. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh fucking hell, I just realized the implication of that. LP just Christ, yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh Jesus. <laughs> oh dear. Right, this we've had like two turns of this game. Anyway, um something's happened. Yep. We all happy with that? Yeah. And Fleshy got Sing. stunned. Yeah. Yeah. I, don't know about him. I was surprised like he used the flashy as the, the step in and assist when everything's so strong in the mid. How come we're not just using a zombie? I don't know. Yeah, I guess he didn't want to like, get surf and stuff, but then it looks like he didn't use stand firm, didn't it? So mm -hmm. weird. It's tough, isn't it? It's tough. It's, I, th I think this is tough. With Maybe it's better only having the one wolf, right? Because elves can like mess up wolves a bit, I think. Like, you know, creating frenzy traps for them and stuff, and letting them only blitz blodges into frenzy traps and things. Oh my god, he's got to reroll that. He's left the ball wide open. For, for me, it feels like the, the biggest real downside to to not having the other wolf is just not having a moving eight ball carrier. Mm. I don't know, I quite like the, the holding on the blodger, but... Um, oh yeah, no, for sure. I just mean, like, in certain situations, you, you, you'd want one, right? Yeah, as an outlet, it's great having Yeah, that's what I mean. Because you don't have the fucking wraiths, like that's a big loss. Nah, it's really. massive. It feels it's so painful at times. But then they like they are just like fantastic tabletop pieces now, mm. as in like naff naff rule set pieces. It's just so good. <laughs> yes, yes, because they they start with a guard, don't they? That's the thing. They yeah. just start finished. Um, it doesn't foul. I thought he might have put that foul. Like, I know this is an uphill. Yeah. But um, so he's not bothered. Like no one's ever bothered about giving away an uphill. But the fact that he just no. had the four assists, it's like free yeah. positionally, isn't it? So I thought he might have done it. How many bench deck we got? Uh, Diamond's got two. Who? Well, that's quite a lot of bench, isn't it? It's is yeah. quite a lot of bench, especially for Necro. Yeah, and he's got a dirty player, right? So this guy could have come up there. Oh, I didn't see the dirty player. Oh wow, we am. Yeah. Yeah, interesting Waffle. to not not foul. Oh, well, sorry, sorry to everybody that we just didn't look at the game for the first two turns <laughs> at all. That's it's, I, I, probably my fault. Sorry, it's so, okay. Start as you mean to go on. <laughs> it's easy done, isn't it? Because like you know, the, the first couple of turns of a driver usually just punch people. Don't do a whole lot, right? Like it's uh, once you've seen lots of games of Blood Bowl, um, you don't want to like go over the like the basic thing like do you know what I mean like I don't know it's interesting isn't it because like when we did the when Andy and I did the uh you know the, the season two finals obviously we we're doing like a lot towards new players and that but with the stream like you assume it's not always new players right so like you just tailor it to like people who've got an idea of what's happening somebody somebody commented on my youtube like saying you're saying this is tricky why is it tricky commentate and stuff and like they did loads of stuff about like why it was terrible commentary and it's like so i was like well i assume people knew the basics so you know that's fair enough, yeah it's it? yeah, you know it's super league isn't it it's not we're not it's not a <clears throat> it's not a how to play blood bowl 101 mm. if, if you're watching something like this then you know surely you, you you expect people to know the basics, right? Yeah, like you can't say, "Oh, he's putting an assist there to make that a two dice." But yeah, I, exactly, I think that that, exactly. that kind of commentary should be for for something else. Yeah. Thought that 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 kind of commentary <laughs> should exist somewhere. Oh, here we go. Oh, I do think I, there I is a dearth of good. Qu no, that was a bad move, yes, wasn't it? I agree. I agree. Sorry. <laughs> Like something I've thought about. It's just something I've thought about a lot as well. I, I really agree. Uh, a lot, of, like almost all Blood Bowl comedy is shy. Yeah. <laughs> um, is this guy getting served? Oh no, he stood up. Though. Well, I, I, when I said that, I didn't know he'd stood up. Like when, when as they stood standing them up, you don't know it's that they've lot. stood up, do you? But he is going to put him in a lot of problems, at least, and put him in a lot of pr trouble. Um, I thought it was weird that he was just stood there because if he was stood there, he would have been served, wouldn't he? So that was. I was bamboozled. Strange how he didn't see the rat ogre doing an emote when the elf died. <laughs> <laughs> and funny enough, the match started with an emote from Carla. I don't know if you noticed. Ooh. Uh, so yeah, maybe, maybe Diamond. Yeah, man, getting in Seabor's head. Yeah. Love to see it. Hmm, tricky. <laughs> Kale on in chat. Hello, Kale on deterred. <laughs> Glorious. Yeah, it's, failing a dodge is a very big mistake. You shouldn't, you shouldn't ever fail. Just simply succeed dodges. 
it's a good thing. Yeah, it's foolish otherwise. Yeah. But, I mean, that was a three plus. Uh, yeah, three plus. So. Yeah. He succeeded almost seventy percent of the time. You do, but he was going to have to do the two as well, wasn't he? He wasn't just going to leave him there to get punched. So he was going to do a three two. Yeah, but then the joke doesn't work as well. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Oh, yeah, because of the 70% C-Rose. Yeah, sorry. I'd already forgotten that. <laughs> Even though you opened with it at the start of the day. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Commentary for Blood Bowl 3 Discord should exist. It should. Like it should. So, you know, there, there, was, a, there, was, a, there, was, a, there was a Reddit thread, an infamous now Reddit thread, where things were said... Um, you know, and stuff, and, I, and that made me think. You know, like I, I would, I would like to be, you know, and people like say, oh, just criticizing people and stuff, and you know, you're, if 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 you can do better, do better. And I thought, well, do you know what? I can do better, and uh, I'd like to. And then that was the start of my change, my current change that is still in progress. So we shall see uh, what happens. Are you, um, oh, I didn't. Sorry, Jim. I didn't know. Are, are you changing? Are you? Miss, Mrs. Jim now? No. <laughs> oh. No. Not that kind of a change. Not that kind of a change, no. Ah, right, fair enough. My change is, I'm go oh, this is very risky. I, mean, I guess yeah, it's uphill, it's right. uphill. And nah, it's uphill, nah. So it's not really nah. risky. No, yeah. It's not Two really side steps on either corner. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's just got to power him. And yeah, and yeah, you can't really get the assist. No, yeah, okay, no, this isn't risky at all. Errata, errata. Nice little shape, to be fair. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty good, isn't it? Yeah, very nice. Diamond likes to push a bit on offense. Mm. I mean, I think generally, I, get, I like this is why you're the worst commentator. No, like, fuck off. Generally, like obviously on offense, you've got to push forwards, Elliot. The, the touchdown zones at the other end, yeah. <laughs> Obviously, I, got. I mean, he likes to push oh forward more days. than other coaches, more than the average coach. Well, you didn't say that. He just said he likes to push forward, didn't you? Well, duh. It was implicit. He's, he's on offense, isn't he? <laughs> oh, my God. Dimmy doesn't like pushing forward oh, every time. Goes. Every time I say I'd push forward here, Dimmy's like, oh, calm down, Jim. You've got it. <laughs> well, D Dimmy's got the turn for panic or whatever. I've seen where, like, <laughs> he, 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 he wants panic going forward or, and went forwards too early, and now he just never goes forward. <laughs> <laughs> Jim likes to push in his offense mostly in his block dice. True. Way. True. Big true there. Um, yeah, this is this is actually tricky. It's probably best just to dodge away, isn't it? Yeah. You just bit of a, an elf screen and then pray that you can get the uh, the blitzer out. Probably yeah. don't get the blitzer out. Yeah. <laughs> it's a nice nice piece to like pressurize on the side though, right? Yes, yeah, really nice. Yeah, I like pressurising him. There's no real way out at all, is there? So, yeah, he's just he's reduced to having the 4-3-2 away. So, yeah, maybe maybe mistake by Seabos to leave him there. And let this happen. Yeah, he's just going to... He's going to... Two plus... Uh, the problem is he's only got two rerolls, so... Do you even do the two plus away with a blitzer? Maybe you, uh, maybe you two, maybe you four three two with the, with the blitzer first. Yeah, a bit, bit of a weird on that one. Hmm. Because you really don't want to use the reroll on that two plus, do you? You really, really don't want to use that reroll. Yeah. I just the chat went. All right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that is a bit weird. Yeah. Fair, yeah, fair yeah. time out, Elliot. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's not. Yeah. I missed it. Yeah. Yeah, that was. Yeah. But anyway, but I am trying to be a nice person. Yes, I've not been. I have not been, you know, as uh, as bland and politically correct as I could have been all of, all of this time. So now I'm trying to be less offensive and etc. etc. And, you know, hopefully make some good content. As well, finally, I can be the person to make good Blood Bowl content. <laughs> someone's got it's to been do it. A long it. time coming. <laughs> it's, it's, someone's yeah. got to do it. Yeah. Thanks, Kayla. Yeah, I think in this situation, I, I do like moving the um, dodgy boy first. I think. Yeah. yeah, I think so. I think that's more important, isn't it? Yeah. 
Oh, Seabros passes everything. Look a dog. This is the problem. This is the problem like that I faced versus Seabros. Even when I banged him out, you know, like here now, we played an athletic game and I beat him up. And it's still just hard to like get forward. Yeah. They'd be just two plus people away and, and you know, oh, you know. And having Super a second wolf. Frustrating. Yeah, having a second wolf to hand it off to it would be very good, wouldn't it? So Yeah. I, I remember I remember funnily enough, when I was practicing for the Blitz Pit, uh, my necromantic blitz pit, I had a couple of two or three pro pro plus oh my god plastic practice games versus k fog uh, you know when, when oh, maybe it wasn't blitz pit maybe it was when we did the oh you know the team's blitz pit the team wales blitz pit <laughs> yeah. the team wales blitz pit with uh pc and k fog i think i had like two or three practice games with k fog and he had pro elves and i found that like every game versus k fog i was having to like you know go and hand off to somebody to score like i was just not getting through like like with a standard drive it was always like i'll try and get somebody i can hand off to on turn seven because i was just not getting through normally so and that's obviously exacerbated by the fact that you don't have whites as that option you, you you've got wraith so now it's it really is all on the other ghoul and the two the two wolves to be that handoff option oh here we go we're piling in all the Ooh. guards Ooh. Oh. i like in there you go do you like it yeah I like it a lot. Oh, great. Thank you for telling us. <laughs> it's all fun and games oh, until okay. until all of you all of your fleshies and raids get the raid <laughs> broken. Yeah, it's just too much guard though, right? Not happening. Yeah, I guess that he's practically moving in all of the guard together is pretty yeah. good, isn't it? Honestly I'd move out of the guard in as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say if you if you're doing it, you you're doing it. Yeah, interesting that you put it over there. I would have also put that that wraith in front, yeah. I guess this is a, uh, a bit more protection on that side of the cage, which is cool. Yeah. No 5 plus in here. I guess you could 5 plus in with the assassin, though. Hello. 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 Have Hello, maintain nurse. your screen. Do yeah. the 5 plus in stab. And we all know that Seabroth loves uh, a stab uh -huh. blitz. What the, um, what the odds are you? The odds of the stab working on the school. Mm. 40%. That's not bad, is it? No. I mean, obviously, once you're in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. That's 50 50 to get in, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 55, yeah, isn't it? 55. It's not like, yeah, 20, 23, 24%. Oh, but then there's a 2 plus dodge as well. It's like, probably doing like 20%, right? That's, that's really good, isn't it? It's pretty good, yeah. It's pretty good considering the result is an injured, and like an injured ghoul. Okay, maybe probably just stunned, but still, you're getting an injured ghoul out of it as well. Like, it's not just knocking him over, is it? Yep. Yep. One he hasn't instantly stabbed the zombie, so he yeah. might be going for it. Yeah. One of the things about the firemen, isn't it? You know, the the, the new firesmiths for the chorfs is that are oh. the, a four to five, they knock them over, and it's only a six that they actually make the AV. Yeah, over, so. yeah. That's shit, isn't it? Yeah, pretty shit. Oh, do you think they're going to give those fire dudes um block? I, I think they will. I think the, the, yeah, there's, I there's thought a, they will. There's a, there's a rumour going round that they're losing block, but... Uh, because that that surely, because that that just so that means you'd have four guys start with block. I was so trash, and then no. super slow guys that occasionally spit fire. <laughs> no tackle at all. No tackle. Yeah, it just sounds rubbish. So I, I thought when I looked at him, I thought oh, they've just spiced up two of the blockers to, to give him. Oh, he's got, he is doing it. He is oh no, he's stabbing the vessel. He's stabbing uh, the vessel. Uh, he's trying to put pressure that. on it in the back or something. Yeah. Next roll was a five. Look, he could have he could have dodged it. Oh. <laughs> oh. Ooh, I'm a little bit worried about putting too many people around the back here. Like, I, yeah. I don't think I am to be honest, because like okay. ge generally getting rid of them is, is necro. You know, it's it's okay getting rid of them, but then you do split your team because the yeah. slow guys are the guys that you're using to get rid of them. And then they could just never catch up if you're trying to make a break through a, a, a slightly weaker screen. Yeah. I yeah. think it's 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 really effective against the uh, like necro and undead. Well, what what's particularly good is he's got these two that aren't actually behind, isn't he? You know, so like yeah. if if this is pretty good that he's got the two lateral ones as well, makes the two behind a bit better. I, I do think. I think, yeah. But generally, I don't like people behind the ball pretty much ever. 
but in this so case... we're going to werewolf five plus dodging stuff that but so uh-huh 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 <laughs> i'm doing it um surf the witch elf oh no yeah good point pretty good it's even easier <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, I mean, he could, he could, he could surf the, he could surf the blitzer, couldn't he? Yeah, just put in the, put in the wraith, and surf the blitzer. Ooh, oh, vessel! Wow, yeah, wow, what a, what a, what a big base that was. Yeah, huge. No assist for the assassin now. Oof. Yeah, may, may, I might have to and use the blitz for, on the assassin now. Or lag. Mm. Yeah, we gotta watch that clock. Yeah. Gotta get forward. But still, like you know, you can you afford? Another assist for another blockless block, whereas at least if you blitz him, you're blitzing with block. And him. Blitz with your carrier. Oh. No, it goes with the wolf. Claw makes it a stun. Uh -huh. <laughs> Just a joke there for you. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I, I was like, huh? <laughs> yeah, I was too. I was like, huh? Uh, it might be worth a foul, but you can't really get any assists in, right? You've got two assists on the line, but yeah, is that worth it? Yeah, maybe. In the line, I'd be looking at doing the assassin. Oh, I suppose he's stunned, though, and you're not really worried about him when it's not your offensive drive, right? Yeah, oh, yeah, definitely can't afford to foul him, I would say, positionally, whereas here. It's not bad to have another guy in the back. Has, has he fouled at all yet? He has not. I don't know if he's fouled in the whole competition. Maybe once. No. <laughs> yeah, he hasn't fouled a lot at all. Damn. It's a very good... And he's got 13 players. It's a very good argument for not taking a dirty player, honestly, on <laughs> on Necro. If you're ever in doubt whether... You know, if you've got the choice between the dirty player or the extra ghoul, always the extra ghoul, I'd say. Because, uh, yeah... I don't think Diamond is, he's maybe he's fouled like once or twice. Did that make the foul appearance sound even though he didn't foul appearance? Yeah, it did, didn't it? Yeah. He, he always does. Does it? Every, ta every time wow. he tests the foul appearance. Yeah. That's idiotic. Yeah, it's <laughs> dumb. <laughs> Doesn't snake. Next turn, big turn for Necrorite 6. You got to really, really set it up properly for 7. Mm. He's like, don't panic, don't panic! <laughs> <laughs> Funny that, that the dirty blow was the only one for Seabrows to blitz, and the, uh, it was a 1D. But he could have fouled there, couldn't he? Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. I wonder if he wasn't there, if he would have blitzed this flashy. Do you think he'll blitz, blitz this guy and try to get forward? I like blitzing this one because then you're basing up two people that don't have dodge. Yeah, the non-dodge guys. And they're in like a good part of the pitch as well, right? Because you don't really want to go far left. I mean, far right, sorry. You're better off sticking around the middle, so you've got more options on turn turn seven. Yeah. Yeah. Not knocking down this guy lets you base like four players. Yeah. Which is kind of good. Right. And could try and sandwich this guy as well. Yeah. Fleshy could go in there. It's an, it's an option. But he's kind of running out of players to cage with, unfortunately. So He's got to think about that as well. It does go in there. Maybe this fleshy goes here. Maybe. Because then you like bracketing that dodger. Yeah. And then you can still, still tag in the cage. dodger thorn as well. Yeah. Still got your X cage. He's in range, isn't he? Just. 
He's just in, in range of the double GFI. Or BB yeah, no, jump. No, no square, I think. Yeah, not bad. Do you 1D here? No, but you can't against a no. budget, can you? You could dodge, though. I think you do dodge, yeah. Does not dodge. I didn't hit the dodge at all. Because you're not like keeping him there, are you? He can just fuck off on a 1 in 36. Yeah, so but 1 in 3, the guy's on the floor, though. Shit. Yeah. Or you could put your reroll in with 2. You could, but there's a little shit. I like not dodging. Yeah. Fair dues. <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, Pablo's. It's tough. It's tough because like it's tough finding the finding the chance to right. You have to like try and break through, and you're trying to protect the ball, and you you've really got to find a foul that's like for free positionally. And I thought there was one where where he put the dirty player out to get blitzed. I I did like that. That was to me that was like a free two assist foul back there. I think I would have gone for that one. But um, it's tough. It's tough. It's tough, isn't it? Like Nafstar, like you. You're trying to battle through to, to score, or you're trying to battle to stop a score. It's rare that you, you can give up the positional loss to, to have a go at just fouling somebody to make it like really worthwhile. Necro, um, Necro seems such like a, a ooh, ooh. double one, double one. That makes his life much easier now. Yep, first action. Wow! Massive moves. Wow! Yeah. Surfed witch elf, massive breakthrough. Wow. Brutal. Maybe double surf. <laughs> you basically need like a 1 in 81 from the net over here, otherwise it's drive over, I think. Yeah. Or very close. Very close. Even, even like, the thing is, even with it being the assassin down, that's his sack chance. That's his big sack chance, right? Yeah. Okay, so the, the witch is presumably going to be on uphills. Yeah, yeah see, I guess it kind of has to, right? I, I, think don't, it has I don't to think be. he has to, because he could have he started with this wraith block, right? And mm -hmm. then if he gets a full pow, then, um, then you. Blitz with a wolf, surf the witch, and then you can just move everybody through a one in thirty-six box. Yeah, if he gets the full power, yeah, but yeah, he doesn't, if, it's a bit of a mess. I prefer doing this it. box, he's just done first, yeah, and then you can push the blitz in behind. Yeah. I, I just think that's better enough. But uh, fair play, fair play, you know, it's would be safer to do the way, sure. Yeah. But I still want to just take that little bit of a chance there. I think it's worth it, I think. Yeah, fair enough. It's only one in <clears> eighty one times that it's it's punishable by game loss. <laughs> yeah, fucking Blood Bowl. <laughs> Necro, um, Necro seems to, like, the last couple of years, or it's the last year or so, really, seen, like, a massive boost in popularity, it feels like. Hmm. It, it's interesting. Maybe it's the Devo effect. <laughs> I don't know, because I remember taking him to NAFC, and I was one of, like, five people that took him. And then NAFC this year, there was, like, 40 people playing Necro. Was it the rules pack, though? Because, like, Euro no, the rules pack the was the same. It's crazy. The rules pack for NFC for Necro was the same. Wow. Maybe, maybe they were like practicing for Eurobowl a little bit as well, right? In the same way as uh, Diamond practicing here. Is he just going to surf with the ghoul? I think he might just surf with the ghoul. It's neater to surf with the ghoul, isn't it? But, um. Mm, yeah. yeah oh, wow. Yeah. Oh! There we go. Reroll. He oh, doesn't get the dub scary scores. Re -roll. Yep. Three percent to lose the <laughs> to lose the drive and maybe match then. <laughs> Isn't um shouldn't uh the med be be emoted now? He should be. He probably should just move the wolf first, right? Like once he decided to yeah, blitz with yeah. a ghoul, then you move the wolf first so that wolf is at least there. But I guess now that yeah. he knows that the reroll's gone, now he can just maybe try one GFI with the zombie, or or even none, and then put the wolf in a different spot. Oh, I'm not sure. Oh no! It's, this this yeah. is like fucking dodgy. What? Yeah, I didn't like, <laughs> like the, the line one place you can't go is the sideline eye, or even like two squares away from the sideline with a witch. To be honest, yeah. I suppose it's an uphill if you try to surf, right? 
Yeah, well, oh, but man, we take that up all so hard. I can't even believe that that zombie <laughs> didn't just cover it. I can't believe that that zombie didn't just cover it. The goo can try like he's it, relying it. on the dodge now. If he fail his yeah. dodge, you know, he does fail the dodge. Well, we found it. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. fucking see, is licking his lips. <laughs> yeah, there's no, there's no choice here, is there? <laughs> I guess the you could try and uh, yeah, you could try yeah. the, the wand. No, you can't wand it. You could yeah. try the uphill on the fleshy to to make it yeah. wandy. Because the pushes doesn't make it worse, does it? No, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, tempting, tempting actually. Because you with the two, yeah, two eels, yeah, it's tempting. Seventy percent, of course, for the uh, non-turnover there. <laughs> Zero has tried many um, one turns during this this season. I don't think so. No. No, it's usually close people out on defense. Yeah, yeah, and like got the flashes and the w and the waves right, so basically no one turn there. Yeah. Plus he's down to ten, maybe nine. Yeah, to be fair, like two of the two of Seabro's games was one of was versus me where he didn't have to one turn, and then the other was worth versus Dave or where of course there was no chance to one turn uh, because of Necro, and then the other three games he won he won handily. So, so I guess we're thinking about a whether you do the uphill or not, and b maybe whether there's a screen. For me, there's just no screen at all. For me, it's either uphill or just straight in on the witch. The screen does just like basically nothing, right? Like so little, not not worth the three, the two pluses yeah. needed for the dodge, right? You know, it's it's wrestle as well, yeah. isn't it? So that makes straight the in the witch even better. Gets the dodge oh. in. Ooh, got the GFI. Oh, what, why are we not smashing this real button? Oh, oh double oh, pushes. Oh. Yeah. I hate yeah, it. I hated that was, time, yeah, I yeah, yeah, I, I did wild. too. Yeah. I did think, is he going to do sideline? Because it's such a bad yeah. idea. Yeah. Because he was sat in that square. I was like, surely he can't be thinking about going onto the side. No, I was Even just thinking would... about where, you know, where the wolf. I was thinking about how many GFIs he was going to try with a with a zombie. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> he was thinking about, and then, but then it was odd that he hadn't put the wolf there. So I guess maybe he's going to, you know, think about putting the wolf somewhere different. But yeah, the sideline I did not expect at all. And then even after putting it there, not moving the zombie in there to cover, right? Yeah. To at least make it a six plus. Yeah. Yeah. Where the fuck's the ball gone? Oh, there Over it is. Over here. Lift. Oh, that race can get it. <laughs> hey! I want, well, hey! I mean, I would. So would you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> this is 1-0 elf, isn't it? Like, you know, 90% or something. Oh, okay, so he's moved him first. 80%, wow. He can move up and hand off to him, and then he can do the pass, can't he? He doesn't even need to pass, does he? No, but I would. <laughs> I'd just screen, I think. I'd just screen. Dodge the line, I was out to screen. Mm. Just screen on the left. Elves. Flipping elves, man. A lot of time ticking down, but that's fair enough. He's got the time, hasn't he? Here, yeah, see, it's no problem. This guy can come out and do something as well. These two, what a disaster from Diamond. Yeah, that uh, sideline cage was su yeah. suicidal. You'll probably be kicking himself, but yeah, Blood Bowl's a brutal game, isn't it? You know, one, yeah. one bit of a mistake, and then you know, and it's still even not that high a chance to you know her to get uh, you know the worst outcome from it, but. Yeah. He's got it. Yeah, it was about fifty-fifty, wasn't it? To be fair, because with a re-roll with wrestle, it was it was almost automatic. The the sack, wasn't it? So it was really just the the fifty percent. And, and the and and the scatter, right? You know, yeah. could have been a better scatter, kind of scatter. Not much kinder, because there was <laughs> loads of unactivated elves, but a little bit kinder, maybe. Yeah. But you know the ghoul. The ghoul didn't die, did it? So he's got that going for him. <laughs> true, true. If you can, because he's done really well in defense, uh, Diamond. So far, he's only conceded one touchdown. So, um, you know, he's got he's got that going for him, defense. Mm. But of course, if he if if Zebros and getting one one nil up, then he's got the freedom of being able to score in any turn, hasn't he? Which is which oh, is incredible oh, yeah. for Elves. Oh, yeah. Oh, where's that guy going? Oh, oh another scoring threat is nice, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I was expecting him to go three squares upwards, but... Um, oh. But yeah, it's fair enough. Interesting. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I kind of don't hate it. I don't know. Because maybe DMED could make 
the handoff pretty tricky with those two zombies and the wraith, and, and now he's going to go for the ball, isn't he? Yeah. Or, or, or let's put it this way: I think that maybe it's not even worth going for the ball. Maybe he should try and make the hand. I don't know. I think they're both pretty similar. Mm. Either way, that neither of them are good. No. We have to surf the witch. Yeah, surf the witch. First order of business is surf the witch, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, yeah. At least yeah, you make yourself go. feel a little bit less bad. <laughs> Honestly, with Vessel, I think I'm feeding with a fleshy. Even though it's higher turnover chance, it's you know a much bigger push chance. Yeah. And right now we're we're so far down. We need to you know need to roll some dice a bit. Yeah. He has to do a foul on the assassin as well. Well, if he doesn't turn over. Yeah, gets the power though, so I think he's going to go for the ball. Yeah. Hmm, the squish? Where? Yeah, where was that elf? Yeah, could have pushed it down? Yeah, yeah no, could have pushed it The zombie's down. got to do an extra. Oh, no, no, he's going for the. Yeah, he's going for the. He's going for that spot. Don't know. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <clears throat> One, two. I mean, he just can't cover the blitzer, right? Like, like, like literally, if, if this wraith is blitzing that line out. Oh, oh no 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 no! The wraith's wanding the blitzer. The wraith's wanding the blitzer out of range and then double tagging the lino. Okay, yeah, yeah, because he can't get any assists with anything else, can he? So what? One, two, three, four, five, six, and then double GFI. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. That's probably best, isn't it? Zebra's could have double GFI. Not that it would have mattered. <laughs> Did he double GFI? I thought he just single GFI with him. So. Oh, okay, so yeah, pretty, pretty good, pretty good, it's pretty good solution from Diamond there, isn't it? I mean, still just a three plus to get in the ball, probably. Yeah. Two, two, three, two to score. Is pretty good. It's a cheeky cast. Oh. Works. Yep, Kaz is a double five. Can he hear TC? No. God. ETC's the worst. <laughs> I love it. Eat it. So yeah, he just brings him an assist, doesn't he? Blitzes. So it's a dodge for the yeah. blitz. Is it? Yeah, yeah, dodge for the blitz. Wait. I wasn't watching, did he want to power that blitzer? Yes. Yes, he did. Yeah, full uh, power. That's pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> full pow. Um But I mean, he can still blitz. Well, blitz with either, right? Doesn't matter. Um, assist with one, blitz with the other, and then it's a 2 2 3 2 to score with a reroll. But this is huge now if if he is one nil up because then he's got the freedom to score early, hasn't he? Which makes the offense like a million times easier for Seabros. So huge dice rolls to come. Rero has gone on the first one. Oh my god! Just a two plus. He's done oh. it. He's done it. Flip me. And yet, still no emote. Yeah. Out of all the streams, Jim, yours is very readable compared. Thanks. Uh, I think he called you Kalon then. Yeah, and he called you Kalon. <laughs> thanks, cock. <laughs> um, yeah, thanks. I, I, I put like I've I've made some. All of my graphics are down the lowest. <laughs> Just you have to turn the game off as much as possible. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hello. Works though, it's it's much more readable yeah. than anyone else's. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, I was pretty chuffed with it. But yeah, that is that is it. Basically loads of graphics down to low. Um and like I think you know the brightness is up a little bit higher as well, obviously, but yeah, it does I, I like it. Make it look a bit more like Blood Bowl too. <laughs> yeah, it does, yeah. Oh wow, he's going all men's LOS here. The problem Diamed has is if if Seabros, yeah, Seabros has the f complete freedom to score any turn now, doesn't he? He doesn't have to care about, you know, trying to score on any 
any given turn, it's just any time you can score, he just scores, and then he's and then he's won. So, what do you do then? Do, do, do you go for the quick score or do you do the Dakar? I'd probably go for like on the normal drive. I'd, yeah, I'd probably go for the the extremely rare normal drive. Yeah, just mm. run around and see what happens. Just knowing that any breakthrough is a, is a win. It's pretty good. There's no need to Dakar because. It's not getting you anything. You don't need to burn those turns, do you? So, no. so yeah. Just I think I would just do yeah a conventional drive. Old school. So my point with a conventional drive is surely, unless well, teammate fucks up, this is the best turn to break through, right? Yeah, looking at the, the, the fields currently, yeah. Yeah, so my, my problem is that if you were going to conventional drive, wouldn't you just do turn? But, do you not think it will, it will be easier on a, on a subsequent turn? I think it will get easier. I think it's, it's hard. Well, how could it, right? Like, this is the turn where the, the necro, mm. you get to react to exactly what the necro have done, place your players perfectly, you know, whereas in future turns, you know, the necro are going to have, well, okay. Two turn looks worse now. Hey, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> fucking big brain, Jerry fantastic. Over here. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, but yeah, it's interesting one. Yeah, like you, 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 the instinct is to kind of expect it to be easier, right? But I'm not sure it, it should be. I don't know. Uh, I mean, maybe, maybe, maybe versus Blood Bowl supercomputer, this would be as easy as it get. But people are people, yeah. right? You can roll. You can just start off with the one in eighty one and stuff, and then he'll just give you a free route through, mm. right? He can he can roll bad dice. Yeah, true, you can get true, removals. You can overcommit. Like it's so easy for anybody to just make a mistake and or roll bad dice. It's too easy, too easy for people to do that. So I would just try and mosey around in front of my opponent and then hope that they eventually made a mistake or roll bad dice. You make mistakes all the time, Jim. Like letting now the other on this. Movie. <laughs> oh, you know what? Fuck off. You know what? I thought you you start you make mistakes all the time. I thought you were coming for me. I thought you were coming for me, and I was so surprised when you said Jimmy. I was like, huh? Uh, but then I fucking realised what was going on. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, it's true, right? Every everybody makes mistakes all the time, you know. Yeah, even e even even Artemis Black, who you know, who loves no. saying, "Oh, you should have moved this guy first before you made the blockless block no. and stuff." Even he does that sometimes as well. So um, yeah, and like Bullshit. you know, all the top players you see, the best players in the world, as they are, like absolutely categorically the best players in the world, right? They've won chalices, they've won majors, they've top ranked on tabletop, and you know, every every single game, probably every turn, there's an error, right? But every single game, there's there's errors, like absolutely unequivocal errors, every single game. So um, so yeah, the chance, you know. Maybe in a perfect world, yes, Elliot. Like, if there was a Blood Bowl supercomputer, this would be your absolute best chance to break through. But I'm almost certain you will, like, you know, if you just hang in there, something will happen and you'll get, like, you'll get a shot. Artemis might be the best player in the game. He might be Astro Tor. I think he's got the best. He, well, so this is the thing, right? He obviously hasn't done well in the in the chalices. I think he's got the best autopilot of anybody. But the game is more than safe moves first. Um, but <laughs> I wonder how true that is. But I mean, it is right. You know, if you if you watch Strider's games, I mean, Strider won the season two finals, right? And and every single game, Strider was like, la 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 la, I'll block with this guy, block with this guy, block with this guy, and just make like you know four blocks, and then like move move his skink, stand up his skink that was unmarked, and move it and stuff, you know, <laughs> like which is just categorically incorrect and mistake. Like it just obviously is. There's no debate that that he should have picked those guys up and moved them. But that's not all the game is, is it? You know, it was all the game is, Jimmy. As we know, is maxing two D <laughs> blocks. Bang on men's, <laughs> bang on men's. But that's it. But that you know, and and you know, putting players in the right squares is part of it, isn't it? Now, obviously, banging on men's is the best route to put your players being in the right squares because your opponent isn't in any squares at all. You know, if you've got seven players and your opponent's got eleven players, there's a lot better chance of him getting his players in the right squares than there is for you getting yours in the right squares. So yes, banging is is super important. 
And the more I think about it, I wonder maybe there isn't that much more to it than safe moves first and banging on men's. Um, it makes you wonder, right? Like all these things, you know, like like that that wrestle. I mean, obviously the wrestle massively paid off there, but that rest that witch elf wrestle blitz. You know, I wonder how you know if you could have made some safe moves first before that. But that's an interesting, yeah. wasn't it? Because those ball sacks generally are, you know, they work by things working. Oh, surf. Yeah, nice, nice. Um... Nice shape, says BB Dog. Obviously, the surface bit was sad. Whoops. But, you know, for, for forgetting that, I actually really like this because what I was thinking when I sort of was discussing the two turn was that what my approach might be here is 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 not to two turn or to dagger or to fuck around, but to turtle, right? All Specifically right. setting it up so that, you know, you're just you know, falling slowly back with just burning turns, right? So it's basically burning turns, allowing as little basing as possible, getting this, like, lovely, like, two rank thing set up, getting your guy served. Okay, maybe not that. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, I really like this approach. Hmm. Well, this is, a, this is, you know, this was an, always an option, right? This is what I mean by, like, the just a conventional yeah, drive. Yeah. It's, it's, I didn't really yeah. mean a conventional it's just, drive. This is, this is a very, like, specific, yeah, I, I really mm. like it, yeah. Yeah, it's it's just it, this is the freedom drive, isn't it? It's it's just complete freedom. You, 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 mm. If you hang around in the middle here, you can do whatever. You you can try and fall. Well, back I don't think you can do whatever though. I really like this this kind of approach. Mm, well, I like, think it's coming it's coming for you. You want to hold as high up as possible. So that's important. You hold up as high as possible. You minimize the basing as much as possible. So you got like the double rank thing, um, and 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 you've locked down the sideline. Yeah, that's the other thing. You, you completely locked down one sideline, so he's only coming around the back on one side, if, mm. if that. So, I think those three things are the key here. Mm. Well, this to me was my keep my options open drive. <laughs> um. So, yeah, I think you've got all three options are open right now, aren't they? So, you've just got to commit, Jim. You can't just be a bachelor forever. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe I should have done. <laughs> I don't feel like I've missed anything, but then also it'd be good having someone look after you when you're old, wouldn't it? It's <laughs> <laughs> not the main purpose in life. <laughs> you're all right. You're you're around mostly to look after me when I can't look after myself anymore. <laughs> My uncle, I'm sure my uncle married his wife just because she was a nurse and she was like 10 years younger than him, so she could look <laughs> after him. <laughs> what a power play. <laughs> oh, here we go. The, the stab blitz doesn't work. See, Bo's trademark. It isn't it just. I, it's not what I would have done. But... Mm -hmm. The problem is the stablets is doing the opposite now. I yes. like the previous turn, but yes. what I wanted to do this turn was just disengage your four back a square, you know, put up exactly the same situation without getting your guy surfed. And uh you know, just just you know, just have to keep doing that. But now we've like sort of actively engaged right with the assassin going in. Yeah. You know, everyone's coming out, but that's an extra hit on no armor seven guy you don't really want. Mm. And everyone's coming out like this, this board isn't safe, right? If we fill a dodge here. Yes, yeah, this is 1 in 36 to not lose, but right. be in a lot of trouble. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> Getting now, yes, don't even now on us. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's a good point. Something like the previous turn was, that was good was, was, the, was the width. Was the width, width really good? Width bumped up against one <laughs> width side. Really good. Width really good? Okay, <laughs> Jonathan Watts. I'm trying to make a fucking important point here. Jesus Christ. It's hard to make an important point where you're speaking like width. <laughs> <laughs> you wonder why there's no fucking good commentary of Blood Bowl. <laughs> well, 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 why, why don't you tell us? What am I I can I can ban you. Oh, <laughs> so quick, so good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, flip me. Yeah, it's the only thing with the the the, the stablets one. It just generates loads of contact. Yeah. yeah, yeah. 
on, on the flip side, it is tempting to stab a ghoul, isn't it? To be fair, oh, yeah, for sure. Removing a ghoul does like vastly increase your odds to survive. But yeah, I think I, he was I, trying I, to do it to get past the fleshy right and then break through. Maybe I don't oh, know. How you think? Uh, yeah, I think he was thinking about it. <sighs> I think his thought process on the off chance that this does work, I can make a massive yeah. break through, and I'm probably quite safe. Mm, yeah, that's fair. Then that's fair. Yeah. But even still, I didn't like it. Like you said, it's it's just too much. Yeah. You don't need the contact. Yeah, and now and now like this turn compared to the last turn, right? Like, like everybody's gonna be based. Yeah, you know? but, and, uh, not even based like wide, based narrow as well, which is yes, really bad. Yes, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. And that, like this on the ball as well, the side stuff on the ball. Four. Yeah. It's not half bad this DMed lad. He's pretty good at the old blood balls. Yeah, he really is good. Top, 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 top coach. <laughs> Did he beat you by any chance? <laughs> <laughs> he gave me the biggest beating of my life. <laughs> yeah, yeah. you like a redhead. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> the thing is, though, you see, he's, st he's still got to be. You know he's got to be uh, got to be careful because again you yeah. know a few two pluses he could let in a yeah. work away. It's so tough but to defend against elves that it, have it is. But that, that you, you just that's just always going to be the case, right? It's a thing. So yeah, now like, you you get you kind of have to take a chance on the two pluses basically, right? As the mm. defending team here, as the as the necro, I guess. Yeah. And if they make them, they make them, right? Yeah. Mm. You, you hope you can make it a bit harder than some two pluses, <laughs> but it's not. Gonna be, it's never going to be that much harder, right? So mm. you know, you're just hoping you put them in that position and they fail. <laughs> The problem with uh, using his time now is, of course, that Seabros is using this time to try and solve it as well. Mm. So, okay. Both got about three minutes left in the time banks. I mean, this does look pretty good from Diamond. Yeah, there's, not, there's nothing it's obvious. Not obvious. Yeah, I'm just... Go on out there, sorry. I was just, I'm just, I'm just falling back and like, you know, do, you know, screening off yeah. the right, you know, just back a couple, a couple of squares. But I think the reason this was so good was from Diamond. It was just a, a misplay by Seabros. Yeah. Well, maybe a mis misinterpretation of what the, what the best line was. Yeah, I think so. And I was surprised because I thought his turn one was so yeah. um, like sort right of tar targeted. Sort of yeah, ex exactly, exactly, exactly the right direction, and then he just kind of completely went another way. The turn oh, two. Yeah. I think it's, we're just going to see a lot of dodges. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, just moving back is the only play, really. I'd try and blitz this this zombie. Because you can, you can assist by, like, screening, right? And then you could have blitzed him, and that would have given this guy a 2 plus on. And then you've got a 3 2 with dodge. 3 2 without dodge. So, yeah, I would have tried to make this a 2 plus without dodge. I would have, I would have blitzed him, but fair enough. Double one. Oof. <laughs> well, the wolf might be able to get around the back here. I, I don't know. It's one. I always feel unsure about how good sacking the ball is in this situation if you know what i mean obviously it's like it's really good but recovery is slim and like if you leave some gaps the elves can just sod off usually it's it's something i'm always worried about like eyeing up too quickly the problem is like you have to go for the ball at some point right because you want to yeah down. for sure okay so probably chaining the wolf here yeah mm-hmm there might be vigorous wolf chains. <laughs> <laughs> Can he change it all the way to, to the witch elf and then get someone else to blitz? Probably, like, he's got lots of... I mean, he could blitz with a wrestler, right? He's got a wrestler there that could blitz. Yeah. He's got, um... I'd be tempted if... You... I think he can get a chain all the way to 
the witch elf. I think that's a yeah. really strong. Yeah. He's got all sorts of options open. The problem is just picking, picking the, the right one line. and doing it. Yeah. Assess all the lines. <laughs> <laughs> Assign each one an equity value and choose the highest one. The equity's home. What a classic. What a banger from a <laughs> Di <laughs> Di Di I nearly said Diamond. Dionysian. Dio's hilarious. Like In person, he just seems so much more psychotic. <laughs> <laughs> How is that possible? I don't know, oh, but genuinely. Oh. The Dubler Skulls into POWs, so that cuts short that um, chain. Mm -hmm. But one, two, three, four, five, six, so GFI in, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, so. I think that's what he'll do here, and then he blitzes yeah, him up, and then that gives him things. Blitzing him up here is pretty good, to be fair. I wouldn't have done that. I no, I don't done. think I would have either. I think I want it. Like, because now you know you're going for the ball, so... Maybe he's not going for the ball. Maybe he's not going for the ball. But surely he is. Yeah. Yeah. I'd probably want to conclude the ball. Oh, my God. Jeez, two and one turn. That's pretty, pretty rough. Oh my goodness! This That's is not huge. too bad, though. If he gets the, I think it's better here, than a push, right? Both down, both down, and then the the flesh is in. Yeah, better than a push. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah take the both down here and then get the flesh in. That was a lovely mm. wrestle there, wasn't it? Flip me. Yeah, I saved his bacon a little bit. Yeah. That's huge having that that flesh in the front. I think a uh, zombie tags the left of the witch elf, right? The downed witch elf, sorry. Yeah, because she's at got the square. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, or, yeah, or, that's or, better, or, yeah. Or any of these three, actually. Because, yeah, you do want him tagged. So I guess these two get a bit more value. Uh, yeah, I didn't I didn't realise that. I forgot the ghoul wrestled. He just looked like he was standing to me. Uh, yeah, and after all this, the elves still just like, it's not hard, is it? It's not <laughs> at all. No, it's like, so this is what I mean going for the balls, I. Yeah. It just opens up the field sometimes, and elves just go, "All right, three, two, 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 bye." Yeah, yeah, he's he's not players up, which is a problem. Like, I mean, he's one player up, but it's not it's not many, is it? You know, like if if the elves had six or seven, then you'd feel a lot stronger about going in. But you're not going to get the removals, so I think just going for it now is fair enough. Oh wow, just doing the jump up block. Well. That's interesting, isn't it? Super interesting. This looks like he's... What, 3 plus dodging to 1D the zombie or something? Yep. Um, what did you think last turn? Uh, uh, what was your about game plan? the ball sack or not? No, yeah, not not so much like the ball. Like, would you, would you just? I think the ball sack is fine, but it's just a worry that if it doesn't go right, yeah. like you, you just the field opens up so much. Yeah, I agree. I agree, and I'm you're usually pretty hands off the ball sack, but I think this was just too good to go for. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm usually pretty <laughs> hands off when it comes to ball sacks as well, to be honest. <laughs> Yeah, you just get the fuck away from the wolf seems a fair shout. Is that the wrestle goal it is, isn't it? So yeah. we're gonna have a chance here. Obviously not a not a great one. Almost tempted by the foul with that lino, but obviously the screen is nice as well. Yeah, gets a three two round here as well. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm tagging the ghoul I quite like. Yeah. This is brutal. This we're doing a zombie brutal. dodge and then a ghoul dodge? <laughs> Maybe have to, yeah. Oh, a block here to chain him to there. Oh, okay, yeah. 
and then and then maybe chain him to there as well. Maybe you can double chain him. Mm, probably can't double chain. Or him. Or even just him. block that blitzer to allow the ghoul to, you know, not have to dodge. Yeah. Don't yeah. Don't know. Yeah, I think if it was nil nil, I I don't think Diamond would have gone in so hard as he did. But I think he kind of had to with the situation yeah. being one nil down. Ah, so he's he's blocking up that way. What's going on here? What was that? Um, shadowing. What skull just popped up? Shadowing. Oh, only to climb shadow. Okay. Yeah. So that's a four three with dodge rather than the four plus with the. Uh... Oh, the wolf! Oh no, I thought the wolf could just get to the guy then, but he was nowhere near. <laughs> I thought, oh, I'm, I'm an idiot. The wolf could just get there, but no. Does he? Nah, okay, he surely not. the 4 3. Fails the 4 3. And that. GG? Is, that is GG, yep. That is GG. Even, oh, even but... from Eliod. <laughs> yeah, well, because... not quite, but more, but. I think I, I just like the straight 4 plus 1 D more. Mm. With the rest of the goal, because then. Yeah, you know, it's, it's, it's the same no matter what, right? So if, if your four plus fails, you've lost. But if your four three fails there, you've lost as well. Yeah, but then obviously you've got more chance to bring him down. But then if you've done yeah, the one D, then then you've got the recovery from this guy as well, haven't you? Yeah, so. you got the recovery, but also like the wrestlers up. He's who he will always be within range of. True. Yeah, even if he hasn't knocked him down, he'll always be in range of the True. dark elf. Yeah. Close one, yeah. yeah. I think I, I like prefer the straight four plus. Mm. To be honest. Instant one in nine on the ghoul after making the bubbles. Yeah, it was a bit a bit sad, wasn't it? I'm just mocking Dimmy. Alright. <laughs> Every game of Blood Bowl ever. I mean it kind of is, yeah. But I mean that's just inevitable, isn't it? Because the elves make more dodges. So of course they pass loads of dodges, they're making loads of one in thirty six dodges. Loads of one in six dodges that they either don't mind or will re-roll. I've seen your TD record, fuck off. <laughs> I hope you were here earlier, Dimmy. <laughs> Can't be asked again. Oh my god. We, we, oh my god. We we just we have to make a nap bot. Oh my god, yeah, that's up we to you, Elliot. You're, you're the brains, Elliot, you've got to do yeah. that. Fuck, another fucking project going to the pile of <laughs> shit, I'll start and never finish. <laughs> That's the that's the price you pay for being a genius. Yeah, he's just ending <laughs> the turn, Diamond. Fair, fair enough. Fair. Just make it list tournament wins, and then you can spam Dimmy, Wait. don't you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't, don't troll C bros. Just end the turn. I know. Yeah, don't start like... now. Just because you're on top is stupid. It's fair enough if you do it all throughout the game. But now it's just a bell end thing to do. Mm. The old kick stab. Classic animation. Oh, and then he conceded. He's like, fuck this. That's fair enough. Oh, <laughs> like he died conceded. I, yeah. I like that yes, from Diamond. Yes, yeah. 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 You're gonna, yeah. You don't fucking waste my dick time. About I'm not going to waste Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah good. Yeah. yeah, no, like, I, I love memes and, and dicking around and stuff, but like. Don't do it just at the end after nah, a, a no, good game no. of Blood Bowl, you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. No, yeah. I'm fully, I mean, I, I I tried to say the same but less eloquently when I was a victim of it. I was raging a little bit. Um, but yeah, it's, yeah, no, fair, fair, fair enough time, idea. Yeah. yeah. Um, I mean, Denmark needs to wind his fucking neck in. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty brutal. But um, there you go. I mean, that was it. Uh, it's 2 0. Seabros gets the final. And uh, we'll be playing Andy Davo. They'll they'll be able to schedule that. And uh, yeah, unlucky for Diamond. That was uh, I did not like none of us Diamond. None of us like the sideline cage. Sideline was awful. Yeah, but um, apart from that, yeah, it was pretty brutal dices. 
and uh, but you know, well played, well played to both. I thought it was a great game. It was just a shame that the <laughs> that Sea Bros decide to stab at the end. It does my head in the <laughs> the time wasting at the end, but doesn't matter. Diamond just conceded. It's all right. It's two 0 And uh, yep, Sea Bros in the final. Congrats to Sea Bros. Commiserations to Diamond. Thank you very much, Hancock and Elliot. Great having you guys in the booth. Thank you for having me. Yes. I did shit at commentating stuff. Fuck off. <laughs> 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 and thanks for watching everyone don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic